Our four dogs, plus our neighbours, have now spent two weeks cooped up together on our balcony, keeping dry above the flood. During the first few days of flooding, our dogs, who are all house trained, were extremely confused about what to do. They were used to regular walks at a certain time each day. When they didn't come, they naturally showed their frustration. Not being able to explain to them the situation in words, we took them outside in the rising water. When they saw the flooded streets for themselves and walked in the water, they got the message. They settled down and didn't show any more enthusiasm for leaving the balcony and Quan studio. Our house is close to a big sea supermarket, a stroke of luck. That they built it a good height above road level is a stroke of luck for them at this time and all of us too, as they've been able to remain open when almost all other shops in Pegasame and Muban Setiket are closed. During our shopping trips to Big Sea since the flood, the sight and feel of dry land underfoot after a long wade through water feels so good. We decided to take our dogs in the canoe to Big Sea so they could stretch their legs Come again on. too. Some day-to-day -day things we take for granted feel quite special right now and I sense the dogs felt that way too. A few runs up and down the dry supermarket forecourt did us both good and a back alley provided the dogs a good place to let them off safely. This family going to Big Sea had the same idea as us for their dog. The U-turn in Pegasame is the highest part of the road and our boat ran aground. Help was at hand and we were soon on our way home again.